All right. Um, I mean, it's done. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like a boat upon a winding river, twisting towards an endless black sea, further and further, drifting away from where I want to be, who I want to be. shot it's sunday may 7th and last night and the night before we shot uh the show that i've been working on for the past you know three months exclusively pretty hard and then for the past year and i had a year and two months i had the idea for it and it's done and uh yeah <laughs> uh I mean, today we have to, I mean, I have a show at, what is it, it's 549 right now um, at the Tisch Building again, um, and I mean, I have to, I have a show at, at Broadway at 730, so I got to get off of this in a half an hour or whatever, but um, yeah, I mean, and, and then so a- after that, sometime this week, we have to do the, you know, the movie parts of it, the little film segments of the total piece, and then um, we're going to edit it, we, we're just going to send Jack the the files that we the the segments that we need from each show um and he's gonna mix and master all the audio and then we're gonna put it together and we're gonna put it out <laughs> um but the hard part is over and i don't know what to do with myself i woke up this morning with that like fucking dread that i've had you know for the past you know two weeks especially just oh god i have to do this and i remembered oh i already did it <laughs> um it's really it's it's nice that it's done, but at the same time, I'm kind of, I don't know where to put all this energy, um, you know, and it's not energy like I'm an energetic guy working all the time, but I wouldn't call it energy. I don't know where to put my dread. <laughs> I like to focus my dread on things, you know, just, uh, 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 that's what in my mind is just happening all the time. And I have to put that somewhere for me to not go crazy i don't know so i woke up this morning and i didn't have anywhere to put it so i just called my parents and i just talked to them for like two hours just about oh how hi how are things you know i haven't talked to you in i don't know like i haven't talked to you seriously like in and i should like really listened for a long time um but i did and maybe it wasn't two hours but it was it was it was probably like an hour so um yeah man I'm excited. I think later on, I think tomorrow, I'm going to talk a little bit now, but um, tomorrow I'm going to have uh, Abhishek and Ulama, and they're going to come on, and, and we're going to talk a little bit about shooting and everything and, and how it went and the planning we did for it and the, the weeks of me going into the <laughs> me going to the room and just sitting there and um, with Al and just workshopping it and me performing to just Al or just Ubby Shake and it was just uh I don't know I don't know what to do with myself. Um especially when we at when I when we finally shoot the other parts of it and we and we start, you know, and we've put edit it and we put it out. Um I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to find something to do this summer so I don't go crazy cuz last summer I had that goddamn mixtape. <laughs> uh but this summer, I don't know, and I don't even know if I can do something because I won't have I won't have Lasha or Al or somebody to make things with me. You know, I need I need my I need my my little Asian friend to to do something. You know what I mean? I need I need to I think I need to find a new one this summer because maybe Juan maybe Juan can work. Juan is an Asian, but I don't can have him pretend. But um, yeah, man, uh, I'm so I'm excited. I'm excited to put it out, and I'm just so fucking glad that I did it. I did it. Oh, my God. The first night was, like, so the first night I was super nervous the whole time, and, like, the night before, my friend gave me a a, a pack of cigarettes, um, and he was like, I'm trying to quit, but you might need these, so, you know, you can de-stress or whatever, and I just, um, I don't smoke cigarettes, really. Um, and my dad had a hard time quitting with them and stuff, so I don't, but, um, the, the, before the show, I just, like, freaked out, 
<laughs> and I just chain I just chain smoked the entire what was left of that pack. I just comp- chain smoked for like an hour and a half before the show started until I was like like pretty much pretty high off just nicotine. And um I don't know, it was uh and then that show was 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 rough. It was full. That room was full cuz um a couple guys I know brought all their friends and you know, I was super nervous and I was not myself, but I was still super stressed out and it was, um, and I was sweating a lot. But we, I got through the show and it was a good show and everybody had a good time and everybody was impressed. But I felt re- kind of bad after it. But um, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a break for the night and I just had fun and I, and I you know, I, I drank with some of my friends afterwards and then the next day we just did it all again. And um, I just I decided, like, hey, um, this time I'm I'm really nervous. But I'm not gonna try to make it worse, and I'm not gonna, you know, go for a walk or whatever and smoke cigarettes and and be by myself and freak out about it. I'm just gonna sit in here with 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 my friends, and I'm not gonna do any any kind of drugs or you know and anything because I just want to do it straight. I don't want to have if I have a good show or a bad show. I don't want to have to blame it on the drug. I just I just want to do it and just do it. Um, and I did, and I felt really really happy after the second show. And all the stuff that kind of didn't work the first night, I think I did much better than the second night. And a couple of things that I fucked up in the second night, I think I did a little bit better the first night. So I think overall we'll be able to cut it together into something really cool. Um, the second night there were not very many people there at all. There were probably only like 11 people. Um, but um, it was all right. We got through it. And it was awkward at first, especially because of the some of the bits I do in the beginning are purposely awkward. And then the bits at the end are... I mean, the whole show is just so fucking uncomfortable. Um, but I don't know. I <laughs> I think that you know, if you like me and you know what my whole deal is, I think uh, I think that you'll I think that you'll enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I'm I, I don't know. I don't really know what to do now. We have to shoot those little vignettes for the beginning and the end. Um, for the show, for the for the final, you know, movie thing that we're gonna put out, and then um, I want to do a sketch or two with with uh, the boys, the Indians, and um, I think Abhishek is leaving May thirteenth, which is in about a week. Um, so we should have some time to get some shit done and just um, you know, have some fun. And like I said, I'm gonna have them on this afterwards, and we will talk a little bit more about it, but. Um, I just wanted to, I wanted something to do before I had to go to my show today, so I decided to come here, I'll talk for a little bit. Um, that podcast I did, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, but the one I did with um, with Joey, um, and then I had that whole thing at the end where I was drunk and I did the show in, in, the, po- in the podcast, um, that was really fucking... And I don't want this to come across as like I'm trying to find an excuse for to drink. Um, Because I know I'm... Okay, so... This summer, I I just... I want to... Because I'm not really going to have anything like to do. And I kind of want to try not having something to do and work on this summer. And like just work on growing as a person and and try to be healthier and go to the gym more and eat healthier. But another thing I want to do is I just wanted to relax, you know. I wanted to have a part-time job so I had some money and I wanted to go to Mike's and I wanted to drink and I wanted to, you know, smoke and have fun, you know. But um, when I was listening to that podcast, and maybe maybe you'll agree, maybe you won't when you listen to it, but the one from last week or if you did – I kind of found that, and I always find this when I drink, that I can say more and be more open and be more honest with myself and and my thoughts. And when I listen to that, um, when something like that, when it's recorded, when I'm drunk, like it's, um, it's not something that embarrasses me where, you know, I'll listen to it and I'll be like, oh, I'm I'm drunk. I'll listen to it and usually I get emotional because I'll say things and I didn't even realize that I said things and that I didn't even know how to articulate but I did when I was that and um I'm considering whenever I do this podcast uh unless unless somebody listened to that and was like that was awful that was horrible I'd rather you just be um sober for it but when I was listening to it I was like you know what I really like the sound of this 
when I'm open. So at least I want to have a segment of that, of the podcast, or for most of the time when I'm alone, or at least part of the podcast when I'm doing it just by myself like this. I want to, I want to, I want to be intoxicated. Um, and I don't know if that's something that, like, I don't know if that's something that, um, I'm a, people think I'm a drunk now or something, or I'm, I mean, I'm really not, I'm still doing what I have to do and I'm, and I'm getting things done and I'm doing more than most anybody that tries to say that I'm a, a, a drunk or that I, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I try not to think about the shit because it just, it's just stupid. But um, I'm just going to keep doing what I think is the best way to, you know, put the best way, the, the best way for me to feel calm and feel good about putting the things that I consider my art or what's trying to be art out there. And whatever way that I can do that the best, that's the way that I'm going to do. And if something gets in the way of it, like I was thinking with the... You know, I did the first show, and I smoked all those cigarettes, and I was like, oh, this will calm me down, and, you know, of course it didn't fucking calm me down, and so the next day, I wasn't like, oh, I gotta do it, it's an excuse to smoke cigarettes, it was like, you know what, I don't, that didn't help me make the best thing that I could make, so I'm gonna do the best thing that I can make, I'm gonna go up there completely sober, without any sort of fucking drug to get me high, so that I need the fucking reaction high, you know? I don't I didn't I didn't want to go up there like good and, and like with all the you know, fucking with all the dopamine and, and shit in there, you know? All the shit that makes me feel calm and makes me feel good and makes the stress go away. I didn't want to go up there feeling like that because what's the incentive to perform and make these people laugh? You know, I'm not I'm not this altruistic guy that's just like, you know, I'm up there just so I can make sure everybody has a good time. You know, like a lot of the time when I do stand up, it's that. But when I was doing that show, it was I wanted to make this good was the first thing. You know, I was like, well, I got to make sure these people have a good time because they're here. And, you know, I want them to laugh. But the first thing was I got to make this good. And that was the main concern. And I was just stressing out about that. And so um, I didn't want that need to sort of subside because I was feeling high or feeling good. Like I went up there with the need to pull the laughs to get that high feeling and I think that it worked better because I was really proud of my performance last night and um yeah so I think that's good that's all you people want to hear from my dumb stupid face so I'll just uh save this recording and um I'll record something else with Abhishek and Alma Prabhu tomorrow and we'll talk about the show and how everything went and um yeah I'll try to have some things prepared to talk about and um I'm gonna go to my show uh, or get ready for the show at 7.30. Um, yeah. So, I'll probably cut this <laughs> part where I'm just saying, uh, yeah, all right, uh, time to go. Is he, uh, Okay, all right, bye. <laughs> all right. Uh, it was welcome to the stage real quick. A uh, very funny guy from Florida, Mr. Uh, Michael Miller. Woo! Thanks. Hey, thank Woo! you. Coming to the stage right now. Uh, he's w making his way up here. Oh, uh, you can't fit through these chairs, can you? Ha! All right, here he is, uh, Michael Miller, everybody. Hi, uh, thank you. Um, uh, it's good to be here. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, so you ever... Um, you ever take a shit so good that um, you just, you know, um, like, maybe I'm gay a little bit? I would just uh, play with it a little bit before you get it. All right. Uh, sometimes um, I think I'm meant to be alone, but uh, not for some higher purpose. I just think God was like, yeah, fuck that guy. Um, so, uh, my body is uh, my temple, but I'm more like a, an ancient temple because um, it's probably a lot bigger than it needs to be. And um, at this point, it's made out of simple geometric shapes. And... Um, 
Nobody believes in what it stands for anymore. Um, yeah, and um, so I, um, I went to the, to the doctors uh, the other day um, getting over a cough, and um, I realized you can definitely um, take your penis out too early at the doctor's office. Um, it turns out you want to make sure that he uh, asks you first and that he's oh, in the room with you before you do it and that you have made an appointment at that doctor's office uh, for that day. All right. Um, th thank you very much. Um, my name is um, Michael Miller. This has been my uh, final project for Project 8 for Sue Zizza's Thursday morning sound image class for spring of 2017. You're listening to another episode of Open Michael Miller. A very special episode today. Um, on the show today, we have two very special Indians. <laughs> Abhishek Singh. Abhishek Singh. And Alama Prabhu. Alama Prabhu, say your name. Yes, that one. Alama Prabhu. Okay, so we're just going to, you know... Talk a little bit about what's been going on. Talk about talk about talk about the the show we just shot. Show. Talk about the movie you guys shot. Yeah. I'll talk about me being really sad and and and, and having a breakdown Mostly last night. That. We'll compare dick size. We'll, we we could compare dick size. I don't think you guys want to compete with me. <laughs> <coughs> I have a bigger dick than you, Michael. All right. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not, not gonna gamble that one. That's not. So let's I'm not gambling that, no. with. Let's not. Do, one of us will go home very sad, and the other one will go home even more sad. Yeah. And, and, and Al I will, will go home very happy. Oh. <laughs> 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 Can we restart this thing? No. <laughs> it gets funny because this it's fucking terrible shit, so far. dude. Okay, let's get into it. Let's actually let's get that pot. But just suck Joe Rogan's dick in your mind, okay? What? Just, no, Imagine this, is, this is how it fellatio. always is. This is the way they always Just go. Perform fellatio on Joe Rogan in your mind. And Bill Burr. Why? No, what? Bill Burr. Bill Burr. We don't. We're not allowed to touch him. Okay. He's he's biblical, dude. Yeah, Joe Rogan. We're allowed to touch. Yeah, we're respect. allowed to touch. He, he's like a he's like a statue. Yeah. Whereas Bill Burr's like this beautiful glass mosaic. Yeah. The showman. I think he records shit based on. I think he just records shit like on his phone. Yeah. No, he records it on his laptop. Oh, he does? Yeah. Because he records it in, like, Pro Tools or Audacity. Oh, shit. Or GarageBand or one of those things. Joe Rogan? No. Or Bill Burr. Bill Burr? No. Joe Rogan has, like, a whole studio. Oh, yeah. And Wait, had, like, we just Jimmy we just Hendrix. ripped off the Bill Burr format, or the Joe Rogan format now, to just talk about Bill Burr, how he records his podcast. Is that what we're doing? Is that yeah. what's going on now? Yeah. I ripped off the Bill Burr format. No, I didn't, because I... Well, I ripped off his doing them by myself. Okay. And then we just ripped off Joe Rogan. Just, the way this is just generally it. podcasting now. Yeah. Okay. You know, one of the two. Okay, but. so let's let's start talking about the show, Michael. Yeah, let's start talking about. It. So when when I, did you have the idea for it? When was the, what was the inception? I bled. You bled. I bled in that show. I bled. You had your and period. And nobody noticed. No one didn't have my period. But I fucking bled, Abhishek. What do you mean? I bled. You what? let yourself out. In front of everybody, I bled. People saw you. I, I wound. I opened my wounds and I bled, motherfuckers. Oh, you like you opened. Okay, I thought you were literally got like a cut from the mic stand. No. Because that happened to me once. Like a fucking. <coughs> On the mic? Like during the school play. <coughs> fuck, I was wearing this shitty cloak and then it got caught on this nail. And as I went to pull it up, like, a big, like I got a big gash in my finger. And then I had to just stick with it the rest of the show. Remember that, Al? The show well, must I, I go didn't, on. I didn't tell you about the, the... But my kid did get stuff. What? The show must go on. The show must go on, yeah. I, I hurt myself once in uh, the Rugden Community Theater. Okay. I, uh... I... Because I, I, was I was a pratfall guy. I was, like, the goofy guy oh, that yeah. came in and was like, whoa, and I'd fall. And I, um... There was a window that I stepped through, and then I fell, and I, like, broke the set, and everybody laughed. 
And I was just doing it through tears. I did my oh, no. I did my goofy lines through tears. I was like, well, how are you doing today, Mrs. <laughs> I don't know. Miss Mrs. Sangria, how about your pie? Is that a good did I drop your pie? Oh, does anyone have any morphine? I was crying. Does anyone have any morphine? <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, man. Um my testicles. I actually yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't get my testicles hurt. I, sh- I shaved my balls yesterday, though. Nice. I'm glad shaved my balls. That. Shaved my balls. Thought I was going to be using them, but didn't end up using them. Oh, because of the... Are we, are we allowed to talk about that? What? I'm just talking about I thought I was going to... Get laid? I didn't think I was going to get laid. I didn't think I was going to get laid, but... Um, Jack kept telling me. I just kept listening to Jack. Oh, shit. I'm not allowed to say his fucking name. Brian. Call him Brian. Well, I didn't say who Jack was. I'm talking about I'm talking about my friend Jack, who. Not. The shut the fuck up. I'm talking about my friend Jack, who lives in um back back home back in home in Florida in Florida. Florida. We know, we've heard of Jack. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, shave my balls, cause I shaved all, I shaved all of it, and um, it was a thing where I I got scared because I I shaved it for the. I shaved. I use clippers. I use these clippers. Okay. And it's very close clippers. It's mm. like a it's like a body hair clipping thing. Goddamn, shit paused on me. I was in this. I was right in the middle of this amazing story about my shaving my balls, and my body hair clippers. I got these body hair clippers. Okay. And I was just saying that they're really cool. Okay. Because yeah, they're close. The clippers work very co- closely, <coughs> and except I usually when I do it when I shave I I go into the shower because it's wet and stuff but. This time I did it dry because oh, I was shit. like, I shaved it dry. No cream, no nothing. No cream. Yeah, I just did that shit. Just blades in your mm. scrotum. Mm-hmm. That's yep. I no, but it's like a, it's like a clip. Yeah, but I did it. I got I got a little cut up, but it's okay because it was. Oh, you gotta, dude. Those bleed like I once I once accidentally nicked my scrotum just a little bit. I didn't feel it, but it bled like a motherfucker. Really? Yeah. Mine didn't. Bleed. It's like it's like you know you know when you get like tested for diabetes, like how like a little tiny prick in your finger, and yeah. just a little bead. It was like that, but like the bead was much bigger. Dude, I'm pretty sure my balls are emptier than they're supposed to be. Like they're looser, like an old man. No, I just feel like there's supposed to be something else in there. Like there's supposed to be something. It's what? just, it's just balls, dude. I thought there's supposed to be something that make them plump. It's just fucking balls, dude. It's just balls, and then there's like a like a wrinkly sack around them. It's just balls. What, what else? Is like what? What, what do you want? In I your thought balls? there's supposed to be like fluid. You know how like the brain has the fluid around it. I thought there's supposed to be no, fluid around there. You just have balls in you the just, sack. Why would you have? You just have petroleum kind of jelly. To protect the balls. No, the balls produce the fluid. Why would there be fluid? around They don't around produce the... the fluid for your brain. No, not for your brain. They produce the fluid fluid from the balls. <laughs> no, but they need the they need the fluid. You know how you have the fluid no, in your brain that protects it from getting back. Yeah, yeah. Around? So yeah, it's to protect. Yeah, but uh, the brain the doesn't protect. The balls are the. They pr- they make the fluid that you need. That why don't they make their own fluid? I think I think there is a fluid inside the maybe, in but it's just scrotum. it's just the sac. I think the sack like, is I think they're like surrounded by like blood and like and like other fluids. Can we rip Al's balls open and just take a look? Oh, I'll get my I, I'm sure my balls do not <laughs> are not the same as other people's balls. <laughs> why? What? Why? They there there's something okay, wrong. Okay, let's them. do this. No, don't do it. <laughs> don't. Well, we can't see it, so it's just. <laughs> Anyway, my goddamn, ball, I've shaved my balls, and it was it was something that, because the last time I last time I shaved uh, with dry, was yeah. back in sophomore year. Again, thought I was gonna get laid, did not get laid. I have not gotten laid yet. If anybody doesn't know, why are you shaving your balls? People, I think anyone who's laid. listened to OMM this much, because I th- don't you have to shave your balls? Is that part of it? Why? Because you gotta make it all, make it so it's all. Sh- what I, what I, I do, I I, tr- I trim now. I trim. Yeah. Now. Well, you don't want them to, because see, mine 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 grow like. You know how I feel like ball hair is supposed to stop like a, like animal fur. Mm. It's supposed to stop or something. But mine just keeps growing. Who told My ball you to? Just keeps growing. Who told you to cut them? People, I asked. I asked. I asked it's my society, friends. I was like, bro. I was. <laughs> they, she's not gonna get all the way there and then just. All right, so I shaved my ball, it. and I had a flashback to my freshman year when I shaved when I shaved it with 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 shaving cream and a razor like a for my face. Ooh. And I did it up multi blade. Ooh. A multi blade. And I did it up up close. And I did it uh, for the, that was the first time I ever shaved. And I used the multi blade razor. And um, I How got I got I got fucking terrible terrible razor b- burn all oh. over. But like razor burn that like the ones that look like pimples. You know which ones I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just thought, oh my god, I ruined. I thought I just thought I had pimply dick for the rest of my life. And I was like, oh my god, because like once I got face acne, 
I could never get rid of it because I had the acne and it would you spread. Had the, you had the industrial acne. I thought, acne. oh my God, industrial ass acne. <laughs> no, but I got pimples on all over my dick in my dick area and I was like, that's it. I'm, I'm going to be pimply dick. So I, when I was shaving, you, 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 when I was shaving to dry this time, I was like, I felt like a burn. I was like, oh no. shit, I'm gonna get pimple dicks again. I'm not gonna be able to. But it turns out I didn't get pimple dicks. It looks nice down there. Pimple Cleanest dick is defender. better though, right? Because then there are more like bumps and stuff, so it makes it more stimulating. In the long run, when it's inside. Why did we have Al on this? I don't know. He's not talking. Just he's he's only talking to make things uncomfortable when they need to be. But Why is that a ro- bad thing? I guess if you had condoms that were like concealed what the penis looked like, it would be good. You know? I guess. So you can see the pimple. Because really, it's a, the, if you just had a bumpy penis and it was like, well, maybe that'd be good. Yeah. That would be It'd good. Be rib, it's like a rib condom. Yeah. You just get a regular condom, have a bumpy dick. Yeah. The rib condom. Exactly. All I'm doing is I'm picturing, you know those fucking drumsticks with like the nuts, out, like, the, like the chocolate ice cream? With like the nuts in it, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what that's what I'm picturing. I'm picturing that. <laughs> you want that? That would be that's, better. That would be better. Who, how do you know it would be for, better? For the woman, she just. How wants do you it, know that's she what just, she wants? She just wants one of the Why? parts to be touched. What? All right, so so a sexual expert, Alma Prabhu. I think, I think that's true. The show, um, the show, the show used to be about something. It used to have character, meaning, long lifted. periods of depression. All right, this? sorry. Please talk Ooh, about your years? cutting your penis. I'm done. I'm done with that story. I was just saying about the pimple, and I got worried, but it turned out it was good. Okay. And so, so like, he, he, let me tell you the story. So, let me tell you the story you just told me. So, you you were shaving your dick, and you remember this other time that you shaved your dick that something bad happened, but something bad didn't happen. Is that the story? Yeah, but it's a good story. <laughs> it, was, it was a pretty good. It's story. a good story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it was a. <laughs> I think it was a good. St- I think it was entertaining. It was. So I did this thing, and I remember this time that something happened, but then nothing happened. I was just. I was just. It was, the story was about my anxiety about it. It was, it was, okay, it was about. It was, a it br- was about. See, because it's from my point of it, view. It's a flat. It's, it's my a, story. It's a is flashback. My it's voice. A, it's a flash present. Yeah. Mo yeah. Agrodnik would be proud. Yeah. Our storytelling. Remember future. the other day, our professor caught us. Outside the library smoking weed at 5 a.m. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> who who did that? What what happened? Who? What? When did that? Remember no? Al was stoned as fuck? Al, no. I was we not. Can't, we, can't, we can't lie. You can't, can't implicate lie. me. That's okay. not fair. I'll have to. It was, it was the Frenchman, me, and you. Who's the Frenchman? Basile Sampson. Let's talk about Basile. Talk about, t- talk about who Basile is. Basile Only is. Only nobody knows who Basile, Basile is. Basile is our friend. Who is, who French. is uh, he's he's very French. French. Very he's French. Jew. He's a French Jew from Paris, very rich. His father's American, American businessman turned literary man, turned author. His mother is a French publisher, apparently a high up one. Uh-huh. Um, he is a connoisseur of uh, illicit substances and a uh, connoisseur of comic books. Yep. He's a very outgoing guy. Yep. And he's a little bit crazy. That's good. That's that's a pretty good Bazille. That's a pretty good Bazille. Yeah. What about, what about Joe? Let's do Joe. Because we can't... These are the characters that are in our lives, but they haven't been on the podcast, so you don't know anything about them. Joe is... I'll let Al describe Joe. Joe is beyond human. I thought Joe isn't a person. Joe isn't a person. Yeah, that's beyond human. He belongs... Why is it better, is he why is it better to be on... He belongs in a separate realm. He, he cannot be explained by human terms. He's this very quiet... He's like he's made of rocks. Isn't he one of those Jews too? He's not a Jew. He's, he's, a, he's an Jewish. Irishman. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> isn't he? Isn't he one of those Jews? <laughs> you know those Jews are just walking around Jewing it up. You know those Jews. What's Jews? Marty, do you, do you hear about the Jews? Is Rick a Jew? No, Rick's not a. Oh. I just I used Morty separately from Rick and Morty, like because oh. Morty sounds like an old Jewish name. Okay. Okay. Because like Mort. Oh. Mort Goldman from Family Guy. I got you. God, what? <sighs> Seth MacFarlane, you strange bastard. Do you want to meet him? N- not really, because I'd like to meet him in like 2003. He <laughs> was on his game. Would it make your day now if you met Seth MacFarlane? That it would be. It would be an interesting thing. But yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if it would make my day. What if he like? What if he's like? All right, we're gonna make another spinoff show. 
Oh, and I get to voice the dude. You get to voice all the characters. All the characters? Yeah. Oh, shit. But obviously it's going to be, like, really bad. Like, it's going to be as bad as all the other spin Cleveland show. Yeah. Level. I would do it, do depending it. on the paycheck for that. Yeah. For, you just do it for free, for and, your passion. Oh, I'm just doing it for free? Yeah. Do I get recognition? And the publicity. And the publicity. The publicity might be good. Depending on, okay, if my performance is good in the show, can you not grind your hair? You, know? you don't need that sound in the back of the podcast. You really like this. <laughs> you really need <laughs> this right now. All right, continue. I'm sorry. He's he's performing, yes. dude. We're performing. I'm sorry, continue. It's the pressures of the of the live mic. <laughs> Just because you're a goddamn pessimist and you're not happy, no. then you gotta make everybody else feel what? bad. No, you I'm see happy. how quickly you made him sad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you see how quickly you made him Keep sad. Keep going. You steal their you're happiness. Seth MacFarlane, or no, you're not Seth. You're sure. family, You're voicing. Why? <laughs> Just say your name a couple times. I'm I'm sure. Sing. You know what I saw him doing when I walked in Tish and you were in the bathroom? What? He was looking at the Tish movie posters. And he was just like, he was just like, you know, bopping his head and smiling and like tapping his feet. And he wasn't listening to the music. I was like, what the? I w- he's just happy. Like, I don't understand. What, like, I think he's lying about his sadness. He's going to get close to us. He's what? trying to, he's, he's data mining. What? Uh, he's not a person. Okay, let's, uh, so Joseph. Let's get back on track. Joseph Walsh. <laughs> Michael, you just because I'll just said some nonsense. Joe's a okay. Joe's a Joe's not a person. A goddamn Irishman, and yes, he is able to drink a lot of alcohol. I only see him drink once, but once I saw him drink, you saw, you've seen him drink two times, three times. What? No, I saw him. You've oh, drank with him before. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, he's a goddamn Irishman, and yeah. he and he belongs in a pub, and he'd be very and he can write in the pub because he's a jo- he's a writer. He's a screenwriter. Mm. He's in film and TV, but he decided to do screenwriting. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much Joe, and he's 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 quiet, and he's a very deep voice. He is, actually he's not very he's not really quiet. He just has a deep voice, so it's undetectable. Like an extremely deep voice. Like we everyone who heard him thought he was lying about his voice. We thought he was trying to force it down a couple of octaves. Yeah, it grows on you though. It sounds like this kind of. It grows on you. It grows on you. The oh, Joe voice. This is Joe's voice. Yeah. Oh. I don't think Joe Joe listened to this podcast once, the first episode. Fuck Joe. Fuck Joe. No, not fuck Joe. <laughs> I love Joe. I love Joe's Joe too, a, but you know, Joe's, a, fuck Joe's Joe. an intellectual. He's a deep. No, he is. <laughs> he is. He's a, no, he is. He helps me rationalize my feelings, and <laughs> he does whenever I talk to him. And he and he knows how to. And when I tell him I'm feeling sad, he knows always the right you thing spent, to say. You spent you spent an uncomfortable night in my room while my roommate was sleeping, drinking and insulting each other, because we love each other. Do you love each other? You said you felt no connection to him. No, I didn't. I said I don't feel a connection to you, Joe. We were drunk. Yeah. I feel connection to him when I'm when I'm not drunk. But we were drunk. I didn't feel a connection. It scared me, so I wanted to talk to him about it. Cause that's Joe. Um. <laughs> anyway, Bazile and Joe helped us shoot the show that we that the 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 the, the show that we put together with the the stand up and. Obi Sheikh and Omofobu and Bazil and some other guy one night. They recorded the shit on their cameras and then Joe Joe helped. Joe didn't do anything, but Joe helped Joe, me emotionally. Joe stood there. Joe was your handler that first night. Dude, he really was. He when, me when a you lot. were freaking out? He helped me a lot. Let's let's talk okay, let's talk about uh so when so when did you have the when when did you have that idea to make the special by the end of the year? Like when did you like I'm gonna do this? Uh, so I know you had the idea for a special after your therapy session. Yeah. But when, I when this year did you're like, okay, this is happening? Uh, probably when I um, probably when I didn't make the team. Oh, the, the, the yeah. Astor Place? Yeah, probably then. Mm. Was when I was like, I want to do this now. Mm. I want to do it now. I wanted to do something big. I want to do something big and better and... I didn't want to feel okay. Here's the thing. I didn't want to feel like I was held back by not being in the club. Mm. So I was like, I'm gonna do something that, like, is bigger. Like, is is more. You know what I mean? Because if I if I didn't do anything, I just did stand up. I would feel like I didn't I didn't achieve anything. So I wanted to like have something at the end of the year to look back on for stand up. Because if I had joined the club, I could have been like, I joined the club. Yeah. But I didn't make the club. So I but wanted that to wasn't, have. So you needed your accomplishment. I need. I need my. I need my. The thing, the actual, I don't, I need the thing, yeah, the accomplishment to 
to validate. Yeah, and, the, and, and by accomplishment, I don't really mean like you don't just need like the trophy for it. Like I mean, like, you want the it's like proof. It's like the I did proof. This. Yeah, mean, that's what it is. It's proof. It's evidence. Yeah. of that I existed and, and you I worked. Stand up. Yeah, and yeah, you worked hard. Yeah, and I think, it, and in my humble opinion, I think it turned out pretty damn well. Yeah, yeah, it turned out better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be. My idea of it was gonna be really good. And the rehearsals were gonna go really well, but I thought I was gonna bomb really hard in front of the audience. Mm. I thought I, I thought I was gonna blank. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get through the show. And that's why. And I would have done that. I would have done that for sure because I wasn't practicing. And I didn't have any plan to practice. Did you transfer the footage, Al, that I shot? No, you're in Kitty. Okay. I was just noting to myself because I need to. Because I, I was one of the people that shot the special, so I need to give some. I need to give the. The oh, footage sh- shit, yeah, before you leave. Yeah, I'll do did that. Did we get Roberts? He's gonna he they email it to me. Did we get Bazeals? Yeah, I can get it to me. I'm gonna meet with him next week. Okay. 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 How long is Bazeal staying? Twenty seconds. Oh shit, yeah. he's staying long too. Um anyway, we'll, we'll, anyway b- back to business. Um what are we talking about? What are we talking we're about? We're talking about the special. Oh, we're talking about, let's talk about let's talk about uh your stress that first night when Joe had to handle you. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That was when, that was when I smoked all those cigarettes that Joe gave me. Yeah, <laughs> smoked like ten cigarettes. Oh, and I sh- and I kept shitting myself. <laughs> Not like nothing ever. Well, um, no, yeah, nothing ever came out in the pants, but I ke- I used the bathroom like eight times. Oh yeah, and you had to you had to leave the building we we're in, and go to another NYU building to shit there. It was too yeah. The toilet was too small. It was uncomfortable. I've used a toilet. It's not small at all. It's, it's a normal it's, toilet. It's small. It's no, a it's toilet. small. No, it's small because here's the thing: is that you. There's no, there's no room to, to piss. Whenever I take a shit, I shit so hard that piss inevitably comes out. What do you, what do you mean there's no place? There's the bowl underneath you. No, but there was no room. There was, it was so small that the bowl when yeah, I was you sitting... You have to open your legs. That's part of it. I do open my legs. Then I'm where saying, is your le- where are your legs going? I'm saying that there was no room. What do you mean there's no room? There was no room to piss. It's just a cer- it's just a bowl. I was sitting on it. I'm on telling you that there was no room. There was no room to put my. No, but that just doesn't make sense. I like, sit physically. Up, I sit it doesn't up make close. Sense physically. The, I Why sit didn't you just scoot back? Back. scoot back? Instead of I can't scoot back. Wait, how what bowl do you mean big you can't bowl? Scoot back. Well, in, on any bowl, you're gonna sit up front. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. So you you the bathroom. So you don't talk this whole goddamn podcast, and you talk just so you can yell at me because I don't shit correctly. This conversation we haven't had before. Because I thought about this, why you didn't shit in the the Reuben bathrooms? Because it didn't it didn't fit. I don't know what that means. It didn't fit. I told you. Well, how I, does it not fit? Because I need to put my penis inside of the bowl. What? No, you don't. No. What? <laughs> I need. Are you to having sex with the bowl? No, I need to put the like past the little toilet seat. I put my penis, and then I have to. Because when I shit, I put I exert so much force that all all my holes leak, no matter what. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. Because I fine. push out on every with all my You force. generate so much force that. in every orifice <laughs> in your body. I generate so much. Force. Every orifice just explodes in excretions. <laughs> you does your mouth water too? No, I mean you guys. You guys know. Did you about. cry? You guys know what I'm talking about. Your nose runs. Did you take a poop and you piss a little bit. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean that makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. every but every everybody does that. Yeah, but the bathroom should still. Be fine with that. No, the toilet did not. Okay, because I would have pissed on the floor and I didn't want to do that. Not because then you scoot back a little. No, because here's the thing. No, because I would have pissed on the floor. Normally that's okay, but everybody knew that I was doing a show there, and they know they would have known that if they had to pick someone to piss on the floor, it would have been me. You piss on based the floor? on the people in the room. You put, you do that no, regularly? but I look like I look like out of all people in the room, I look like the one that would. Piss yeah, on but the you floor. said you would have no, done that. So you, that. you do that regularly. You do that. <laughs> You said you would. I don't. Have done I'm not I'm mindful of it. We're rooming with you I next do. year. Sometimes you just Sometimes piss, I on, I the piss on the floor. Sometimes you sit on a toilet, but you don't piss into the toilet. You piss on the floor in front my of the toilet. You're long, one of those people. My dick people. isn't always long enough to go and go into the. toilet. You point your dick. Just point your dick. But I have to like enough. really point it because I have then, to like. Well, then really point it. And so, it like it hurts so sometimes because po- I have to make it past the balls because I have, I have so much fat that my balls can't go back. Why don't you just lean or tilt or? Because I can't. Because I'm. All right, you could, the bathroom was too small for you. So I was having a bad day. I was stressed out. You guys aren't making me feel any better. Well, it already happened. You you did the deed. You, you did the. You ran to another building. I ran in. No, I didn't run. I, I actually I did run. Walked. I walked. I walked. No, I ran. I definitely ran. I ran to Weinstein with Joe, and then I went and took a, and then I went and took a poop. 
and then I lost all my notes for the show in the bathroom somehow. Yeah, Joe Joe texted me. He said he forgot everything. Everything. I, Call I it off. Lose it in the I don't know. I don't know. I went back in there too, and Did it was all gone. Did you put that in the toilet? No. Did you piss on that? No, I lost it. I just misplaced it, and when I went back in, someone else had already took it. Someone took your notes? Well, it wasn't there. Who do you think took your notes? I don't know. Someone Shit. might have picked them up. You think someone's gonna some, like somewhere in some open mic you and think? like the, somewhere in the country, like it's Kansas City, you hear somebody say, "You, you ever take a shit so good that maybe I'm gay a little bit?" We, well, we gotta put this show out then. Do soon. you think Joe took your notes? <laughs> and now he's gonna as a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna perform a séance on it. <laughs> He's gonna do stand up in Boston with all the hysterical all jokes. All your jokes. <laughs> with all the jokes from hysterical. You're gonna do so well. <laughs> he's not gonna come back next year. Oh no. He's oh, he's just gonna become a star? Yeah. <laughs> Especially because he, yeah, he has the jokes. He has my awkward jokes. And then if he if he does his whole Joe thing, it makes it even funnier. Yeah. If he just. If he says. It, it, it's not gonna even. The jokes won't matter. It'll right, just exactly. be him. I think he can go up and say anything he wants, and it'd be it'll super be funny. Hilarious. To to those who don't know who Joe is, go to Michael Miller's channel and then search up the video climax. Oh yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe is the guy, the masturbator guy. Yeah, in that video. Yeah, and that's when he goes, oh, oh, oh. He wasn't like making a deep. That's just how he talks. Yeah, yeah. That's how he speaks. So I was stressed out, and then I went up there, and I was stressing, and I was sweating. I was sweat. I was really sweating. I was I was sweating, and it was going crazy and I was a little sloppy and I hadn't and I did some of the jokes that didn't work in it which we had planned to cut but I was like you might as well do them because I was like who knows maybe this audience will laugh nobody laughed at it um, and so the next night I went up there and I was like I didn't smoke and I went up there and I went up there fresh and happy to go up and excited because I wanted to do well because I needed to do well that was what that was what I changed it was because I smoked 10 cigarettes and I had the and I had the high feeling of the the thing being released, the nicotine, yeah. the nicotine, and so I didn't need the high feeling from the audience. You know, mm-hmm. the second night I felt like I needed it, like I felt, I felt like I didn't have the thing I needed, so I needed mm-hmm. to get it. Did I don't think them? in your first show you didn't bomb. None of your, none of your jokes bombed. You got laughs every time. On are you sure? Yeah, and the jokes that did bomb just didn't do. They didn't do well either show. So. What? What are you talking about? Like ACL that bombed, and that that uh, always bombs. But I think it's yeah, funny. exactly. That's why. That's I just why wish I... it didn't look like it bombs <laughs> so <laughs> bad. No, but I think I would you... bomb another ten years <laughs> just if it didn't look like I bombed. Is that you, the? Is you that didn't your... look. <laughs> that's that, my bit. You didn't look like you bombed in the second show. I mean, the first show you looked like you bombed certain places. Oh, even if you didn't bomb. Oh, the ACL bit didn't look like I bombed. No, 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 I mean, when you were saying it, you looked like, oh, they're, they're not laughing as much as they should. Throughout the show, you had certain moments the like that. The first night? Yeah, but the f- second night, you looked like you were killing the whole time. Okay. Okay. Like, your face. You could just see it in your face. Like well, because could... I was happy. I was confident. Yeah, yeah. I was confident in, like, the ones that... You were sexy? I was sexy? Dude! <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It was shitty. Man, I wish there was more people in my life so I didn't fixate on on one... On one, see the reason I fixate on women is because, like, people are just like it's not that big a deal. It's fine. Like, it doesn't happen every day for me. It happens like once a year. Someone's like, I think I'm gonna like him. I'm like, yeah, and I jump and then they leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you do that, they're well, gonna run away. That's, reach out with a ah, strangler gonna, motion. I don't have the opportunities. I don't have opportunities. So when I get one, I jump, and then everybody's like, that's what you know. What I feel. I feel like now that. I feel like now I have, like, women that, that know about me and know about my business and, like, message. Whenever they find out I'm talking to a girl, I feel like they quick message the girl and be like, careful, he's, you're the only one that's talked to him in three years, so he's going to freak out on you. Who does that? I feel like all the Who women of the past, that? the women of the past, they have, a, they, they have a pack. Like, never let him do this to anybody else ever again. What did you like, do to anyone? I jumped on them. No, what? You, you don't look Physically. like you jumped, though. No, that's I didn't. a joke. You don't look like you could jump. I mean, I mean, not, no, no, You're I didn't mean goddamn like, hack I don't mean like that. <laughs> You're mean a like, goddamn hack. I, what I mean is, you don't look, you don't look like you're desperate. Yes, I do. No, I look like I'm so sad. Yeah, you but do. that's not the same thing as desperate. Sad but comfortable. Yes. Well, not. No, you're not. I don't look comfortable. No, you don't look comfortable. No, I look uncomfortable. That's the one. That's the one. When, when I first saw you, <laughs> when I first saw you, and I heard you, I could tell that you were so deeply sad, and that's why I like you. Really? Yeah. No. I'm 
Well, maybe. I don't remember anymore. No, you, just, you just look like you're, you just feel no, bad. You just look yeah, like you were want. tired and sleepy. I mean, no, like nothing I can say will, not, will make you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't want to be the person that feels bad though. I don't want to be the guy that feels. I guess I can't do anything about it now because at least I'm not the person that looks happy and goes. I just didn't feel bad. You would just want to punch him. No, you, know? you can you can tell that it's on the inside. Like you have. Yeah. A... Okay, that's good then. That's good. That way I can talk about it and not be a goddamn asshole that annoys people. You know. Yeah. Whereas Al, Al is at a whole other level of sadness than me and Abby Shake. Because me and Abby Shake are actively trying to be happy. But what was the thing you were telling me? You. Oh yeah, Al gave up on the idea of happiness. See, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> people do. That just they give up on the idea of. I okay. That's where I think we're different. I'm sad but comfortable. You're not. You're sad but uncomfortable. I think. I think that's what it is. Should I? Should you? You should get my. You should get my. You should do the sad but comfortable. No, no, no. But that's too psychological and too deep for people to understand. You can say it and it makes sense. You can be like, I'm sad but comfortable, and then people will laugh. But why is it too deep? Because that doesn't. That's not something that I project. Where people are like, oh, is he sad? Is I something project in- sadness when I go yeah, on stage. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> did you, did we record you the same special? There? Did we Did we? No, do because I made it sad, but when I went up there and I was like, uh, I took my dick out too early at the doctor's office, that, I don't look sad. That's when hilarious, but it's also sad. You, no, you look sad yeah. the moment no. you start speaking. Oh, no, even yeah. the, the moment you <laughs> enter a room, <laughs> you just like the air changes, like it gets colder. <laughs> <laughs> it gets warmer because I put out a lot of... Oh, you generally like you fart a lot. <laughs> Always <laughs> emitting gas. There's a miniature greenhouse <laughs> effect in every room. I had, did yeah, you dude. fart while you were on stage? What? No. No. My voice cracked once the first night. I had a voice crack. Yeah. Dude, the first night was not good. The first night was, was compared good. to the second one, it was not so good. That first half of the first night was better than the first half of the second night. And the sec- second But you're half. saying that because you think that the first half of the jokes work better when I'm nervous and, and, un- and uncomfortable. No, I don't believe that. You think that the first no? You said the first the first half of the jokes work better when it's like deadpan and I'm not in it. No, when it's deadpan, that's not the same thing as nervous and uncomfortable. No, but I do it like awkwardly, like. No, no, no. I, I said awkward is not good throughout forever because you, you awkward makes it make makes it about your you being awkward rather than the, the actual jokes. jokes. That's a Gladys was mad at me yesterday. Why? Because I went up there and did fresh jokes. I sent you guys the file. Yeah, I listened. Um, I know you did. You messaged me about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I I did jokes and I went up there and I just uh, I just did the jokes straight. It was because new because I because that yes Wednesday yesterday was the first day I did I threw everything away and I and I started doing the the jokes the I fresh had. stuff yeah yeah the fresh stuff and I did it and um, I didn't like put any sort of like inflections or like emphasis or I just did the jokes straight because for me I wanted to. I wanted to see that if that they st- that they had feet first, you know. I wanted to see that the words themselves and the actual joke is a joke rather than just going up there and being like pussies. You know what I mean? Because you can yeah. get a laugh from that, but if you just say, you know what I'm saying? I want to see. I just delivered it straight as jokes, and Gladys got really mad at me because apparently there are a bunch of agents and bookers there because she had like said you gotta you gotta come and we got a couple really cool guys here and she like before I went she was like he, he's really good and I went up and I just was like and I sat down and just was looked dead and I just gave the jokes I didn't, I didn't deliver them I just gave them threw them out there and so the so the so the people in the room were just like what the I got yelled at by a couple people just like, you had some, some guy like actually grabbed me as I was leaving. He's like, you had some good jokes in there. And I was like, why do you give me a compliment so angrily? And he was like, but, and I was like, okay. He's like, but you don't sit down. And I was like, I'm sorry. Don't sit down. Yeah, because I was sitting on the seat. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Did you just make another hack fat joke? No. Okay. Not everything I say is a hack fat joke. Okay. Some yeah, that was that. Some. I did. Yeah, that was not. All right. That I was wanted, not. I wanted to make sure. I, I to make sure. he was just talking to you okay. while you were. All that right. wasn't. That wasn't even a. What? I don't you know. Okay, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know if he's just because he's not hacky, but sometimes he 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 just does the fat jokes. How many times do I think you're making a fat joke when you're not making a fat Most joke? Of the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like let's say let's say nine out of ten times you think he's making a fat joke, and then like the tenth time he makes a fat joke but you don't catch it. 
<laughs> it goes over my head. Oh god, we're or just ha- not paying that's attention. That's what Joe does. Joe makes the fat jokes. Yeah, Joe does. Joe that. makes fat jokes. Yeah, he does. Because it's his only source of comfort in life. Sometimes Joe will just insult people, and then, but it won't be funny if somebody else said it. It's it's just funny because no, Joe said I ran into that the other day when I was with Joe. I made I insulted him, and I thought I insulted him really well. But Abhishek was like, "That was just mean. That wasn't funny." I was like, "Cause Joe's from Boston," and I was like, uh, "I was like." You said something about me being fat, and I was like, Joe, people from Boston have accents, not disabilities. No, I laughed really hard. That was amazing. <laughs> you got really... Oh, it was funny, though. No, he got sad. I got. I yeah. laughed my ass off. Okay. Well, he... he. Oh, yeah. Well, he said it wasn't funny. It was just mean. I think a part, part of Joe's thing is when he insults people, it's also making... It's also funny because he's saying it, so we're, part, we're laughing. Okay, that was a good burn, but we're also laughing at him because you never expect that coming out of him. Yeah, 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 because he looks, he looks like a, a modest, yeah. nice guy. Yeah. Quiet, but he goes and he just says oh, awful, awful things. Horrible thing. things. <laughs> Joe's, really, Joe's really funny. Like Joe's... He, you, you look at him and you think, like, there's like a textbook somewhere and it says, young Catholic male goes to church. <laughs> That's a picture of Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that is Joe, but he's... He's he's Joe. I mean, he's he's a whole. A whole he's not thing. a person. He's. Not, stop. I hope he doesn't listen to this. If he would have listened to any of them, he'd listen to this one. And I don't want him to. <laughs> I don't want him to feel bad. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna feel bad regardless. Yeah. Joe is the most depressed person I've ever seen in my life, and I've seen. I'm looking at you, Michael. I'm looking at, into your eyes right now. I don't know. He he wants to be happy though. He relates to us sometimes. He wants to be happy. That we can't even call that depressed because. If you don't even if you don't even accept that you're sad, or you do accept that you're sad, but you're okay with being if you're okay with being sad, you're happy, you're content. I'm sad but comfortable. So Joe is uh <laughs> God damn it. Joe is um This is the Joe podcast. <laughs> just roasting. We just try to say something nice about. We spent twenty minutes talking roasting. about your balls, yeah. and, then we spend, and then we spend the rest of the podcast just talking about you. Yeah. yeah, I wish I hadn't done that joke on stage. Which one? I'm sad but comfortable. Why? Because it never got a laugh. No, and it did. It got laughs. I don't think it ever got. Yeah, laugh. it got laughed. Comfortable got laughed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the comfortable. Yeah, that okay. was a punch. Well, okay, because I all right. I'm glad I got laughs because whenever I did it, I thought it didn't get laughs. And I remember the only reason I started doing it was because I, I no, because we were outside with uh, we were outside the pit. You 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 weren't there that night. It was one of the nights where you were Abhishek didn't go. Oh, it was one of those nights. Huh? Yeah, but Abhishek wasn't there. No, he wasn't there that night. And Alexander Payne, remember I, we were riffing with Alex, mm-hmm. and I was, and he was like, "What's going on? You still a virgin?" Because every time he's asked me, he asked me if I fixed my problem, and I'm like, "No." He's like, "We well, gotta get on that," and yeah. I was like, "I'm trying, man. I don't know." I'm not trying as much as I can. I'm try. I'm not trying anymore because it makes me anxious, and I don't want to do it. I feel lonely. Okay, here's the thing. I feel lonely. All right, but I feel lonely, old, old lonely. I feel old, and like I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Okay, but when I go and try to find someone. Right, and I and we message, and I'm afraid that they're gonna leave me, and then they do leave me, and then I feel like fresh, like oh, like really, like really, really sad. Yeah. But it gives me new, something new to be sad about, which was I did a bit about. So. And you said. Yeah, I probably should have explained the first part when I did the bit. Old sad versus. That would have made it a little bit better if I just explained just the two sentences where I was like. What? Wait, what part? What I was saying just now, what I was saying about how the old, the old is like I'm used to it, and so it's not as scary. The new is scarier, but at least it gives something. New no, but I, I thought it was funny because you put it in terms of the people you have to, like your friends. I know, but I'm about. saying that that would be a reverse. It wasn't a reversal. It was just a look at this weird idea. If I had said the beginning thing, and everybody would have been on board with me being like, "Well, you're comfortable when you're sad for a while, and the new sad hurts more." And then I could have been done a reversal and been like, oh, shit, but hold on a second. When you think about it, at least you have something new to tell your boys. But I just went like, I like new sad because it's something new to tell my boys. And everybody's just like, what? And they laughed like because I was some zany guy saying zany things. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been better that way. Maybe. Maybe. Do, 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 do you want to talk about the story about the why you've been feeling a little bit anxious? 
about the women lately? No, I mean, no, it's just it's just ridiculous. It's just that I can't, um, I can't talk to, what, okay, no, because then they're going to see the show and they're going to know who it is. But, okay. I'm one of the, okay, so, yeah, someone wanted, someone said that they were interested and then, um, I can't, t- and I, and they might still be interested. I don't think Maybe that they're it's, interested. It, it's a very confusing. <laughs> yeah. Did they respond? What? No. But they t- they kept telling me. I, they told me I didn't even ask. They were like, mm, and they were like telling me they're interested in shit. I didn't even ask. Wait, they didn't respond to the last thing? No, they haven't responded yet. But someone keeps telling me. But the person, the friend tells me that. Maybe that See, I don't want to talk about this because then if someone hears it, they're going to know how much I care about it. And then I can't care because then I'll come across as insecure. Okay, well, we'll just forget then. Yeah, let's. No, we're going to talk about it now because now obviously it's gone. No, no, no. Now it's all fucking weird. I just want you to what? be happy and you're not being happy know. right now. So we have to make you happy by not talking we about this. We don't know this. what yes. you're talking about. Why? Okay, why am I not allowed to be insecure? You know what's crazy is that if I just say my feelings to people off stage. Yeah. What? I'm a pussy. I'm a pussy and I'm sad all the time. But if I say the same things and make them funny and say them on stage, people are like... <laughs> Really brave, you did that, man. But if I'm like, guys, I'm I have a bad penis. Everybody's like, that's really sad, and they feel bad for me. But it, if I say on stage, they laugh, and then that makes me feel better about myself. Nobody thinks you're a pussy if you say it off stage. They'll say the same thing. You're brave. Why? Because it sounds like you're 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 tackling this itch, itch, issue of being a pussy off stage. So they'll still think you're brave. If you no, stay they don't. No, Who, they won't. who's calling you a pussy off stage? Because I have who have you feelings? said no, your no, feelings it, it, to? It, it, People here, call me here's, pussy why, here's why it's different. Here's why it's different. Because when it's off stage, it's like you're asking for help. When it's like a I was life. asking for the whole special with me asked for help. It was it was totally wrong. That's why I that's why I got really upset at Al when Al revealed to me that the whole special with me was a cry for help. What? What? Out to who? For who? Who is it? Help? I'm not asking to? anybody for help. I'm just saying I'm saying all the reasons why I can't do it. Yeah, so that's not a cry for that's help. That's not. Yeah, that's not a cry for in person. It, the re, okay, so it's brave on stage because you're just opening yourself up with no, with just for the art of it. Yeah, it's just it's just because it's art. That's why it's brave. But if you, when you just talk about it, you, people uh, like, if they just call you like a put if they call you pussy, you're just talking about it. Or oh, because when you and when you're one on one and you're like I can't do this, it's like, like you're, it's assumed yeah. that you're asking you know, them to, to do fix it. you. Yeah. But when you're on stage, you're like, I can't do this. And everybody, yeah. everybody doesn't feel an obligation. So it's like, yeah, you can't do it, bitch. Yeah, you, yeah. you're yeah. brave. Well, no, fuck. Nobody's calling you a bitch. I am. I'm no. a bitch. I'm a bitch. No. That was bi- you're that not a bitch. I feel bad now. That was a what? You're not, you're a, not a bitch. No, you're it was a, a, it was a, it was a, you're m- kind of a bitch. I'm <laughs> you're, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I am. Kind of. But anyway, it's I don't weird. know. It just, it sucks that I can't tell people like, like, and then I have to like, I have to respond, like, when someone sends me a message, I, I have to be, like, I have to be, like, sweet, babe, and ask when one, have you ever ask spoken one, like and ask that one to question. anybody? I gotta ask, I gotta say one word, I gotta be, like, cool, or dope, or, and then I say the one word that responds, because I can't act like I care too much about them, but I gotta pick one of the one words that is the correct one word to respond to nice. the long message. Days. Nice, or dope, or cool, or awesome. Awesome's a little too much. Sick. Only if it's really awesome can you say awesome. But then you got, and then you just gotta ask one sentence question because you can't ask too, you can't care too much. But see, even when I'm th- like, I don't think I can give off the vibes when I'm texting someone that I don't care too much. <laughs> you know, I don't think that I don't think that even if, like, once you see me in person and I'm just like, and someone's like, hey, I really like you, and I'm just like. Very cool. You want to go out? Like, that doesn't... Yeah. They know that... They know they saw me on stage go, ah! And just screaming and needing help. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think one problem with doing it on stage is it feels like you have it under control because you did it on stage. Like, it's a control Like, you thing. have some sort of understanding of it in order so to do it So you understand stage. and you did it. And then when you when people engage with you off stage, it's just now you're like a normal person. Now you're fine. Well, I do have it. I do have it. I do have understanding of it. No, but you have it under control. That's why I feel like, okay. Knowing yeah. is half the battle. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. That's why people go to therapy, so they know. But, like, I'm thinking about it. I'm constantly talking about it. I'm doing this, and I'm just saying the shit, and it's connecting, and now I'm starting to understand why I have abandonment issues. I'm connecting things to my childhood. I'm connected, you know, and all the shit where I can't talk to people because 
waiting on response time is weird because whenever I would text someone, they wouldn't text back and it wouldn't be they just didn't text back and they text back later. It'd be they wouldn't text back and I wouldn't see them for a month, you know? So I know now I know why I have the things that I have. I just don't know how to fix them. <laughs> you, you know what my barber said today? So I, I got a haircut today and uh, my barber, Yuri, leans in, uh, leans over to me and he tells me and whispers in my, he doesn't really whisper. He just says quietly to me, listen, son, let me tell you something about women. And then he says, the more you love a woman, the more she'll hate you. And then he, st- and he paused and he said, then once you start to hate them, that's when they care. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the funny thing? I wrote that st- down after that. <laughs> you know what Rich said? Yeah, you should put that in a movie. You know what Rich said the other day? We were talking about, so we are talking about date etiquette. Me, Jack, and Rich. And so date etiquette apparently is you go out on a date and you, you, you got one story to tell. When you're out on a date, the guy has one story. And you got, t- Jack Jack was saying, you got one story. You got two minutes, so make sure it's a good story. He's like, tell the Chris story. And I'm like, that's a long story. He's like, can I condense it, bro? And so he's telling me about, um, fuck! <laughs> Keep saying his name. <laughs> no, I, well, we already know who Jack is. My friend from Florida. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, and we know who Chris is. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we're sitting there, and, and, and they're telling me, so it, it, yeah, and, and Jack said, you got to condense it, bro. And then I was like, why? Like, why do I only get one story? And he's like, we got to let the, her talk. And I was like, well, okay, it'd be, of course let her talk. And he's like, no, you got to let her talk the whole time. Date is just you let them talk until they want to have sex with you. And I was like, I really, I, this seems like one of those, like, you, really you, douchey you, bro what the dating fuck, tips. fuck, dude? But they were both like, by, they were like, no, you got to let her talk and then just go, uh-huh, once in a while. And I was like, that's so misogynistic. I know. And then, and then Rich just goes, and then Rich, like, ignore them. And then Rich just goes, as, as straight face I've ever heard, he just goes, yeah, completely ignore them. <laughs> Like, he's what like, you gotta, f- you gotta come eat. And, and I was like, really? And he's like, oh, yeah. Like, as if it was obvious that I have to <laughs> completely tune them out. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, don't pay attention. Yeah, let them talk. Let them talk. Let them tire themselves out. And then they'll just. He's like, oh, yeah, no, completely ignore them. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? As if, like, he couldn't believe the fact that I was like, well, should I listen to you? Did you, no. tell, did you tell Sarah that? No, no. Because, no, cause it was funny, but I don't, I don't know if. No, he doesn't, because he listens to his girlfriend. He just, when he's on a date. I think it was kind of a joke. It wasn't a joke, I don't think. But when you're on a I, date... You're giving me mixed messages. I don't know. what is it a joke can, or not? Someone like him can can exist without listening right. to the date. And someone like him can play and play along. If yeah. someone's... That's what I was thinking, yeah, Rich too. Can. Yeah. Sarah kept telling me this girl's playing hard to get. And I was like, no one's going to play hard to get <laughs> with me because I look like a guy that would chase him down and get him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't look like, mm, no, well, I'm going to let you do thing. your thing. Now you have, a, you have a certain status because you did the show. People, I don't think people think you're as sad as you say you are. I mean, they think you, you are that sad, but you look like you kind of have it under control and you could kind of go for whatever you want, right? Like, when you see Louis on stage, I'm just using it as an example. Oh, not, hmm, not, yeah. You know what I mean. You know what? Hmm. He looks sad and he's yeah. doing sad, but you, you kind of expect, okay, he can probably get whoever he wants, right? He can do whatever he wants whenever he wants. Yeah. Right? You kind of expect that because he is, is at yeah. that level. He yeah. has that status. Yeah. Even though he's... So if you're on stage, it looks like you're sad but comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Even if you're like you're to have like problems, like deep problems. Like titties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the deepest problems I have. Is the fact one that I have titties. One of the deepest now. problems I have is the fact that I have tits on my <laughs> chest, man. Parts. Dude, see, because the weird thing is, my titties don't look that much like titties when my when my shirt's off. But people, when I got here, people started grabbing them. Jimmy Peoples has grabbed my titties a couple times, and once you grab them. You you de- there's def it's definitely not a peck it's a handful, but when my shirt's off it looks like maybe there's a muscle underneath it kinda but nope it's not that no you're, you're I think you're you're good I think you can grab any any man's it, with like a handful a titty his titty area yeah yeah but no not if you have pecs no no They're not if you're muscular no no if you if you yeah not if you're muscular but if it if it, it it doesn't look like a titty is what I'm saying with the shirt on it doesn't with look your like shirt a titty. on yeah but when I you know, when I bounce though. You know, you don't bounce. Sometimes I bounce. Uh, not enough. Not enough to okay. be a titty. Okay. <laughs> not enough to be a titty. <laughs> just slight, just we're slightly. We're tackling scientific questions. Just slightly. Here. Very slightly. These are, these are, we're getting into new conversations here. This is good. This is surprising because we've, we've had a lot of conversations. We're able to talk about some new stuff. And be titty bouncing. About it. What were we saying before we got titties? And... Uh, you're oh, because that's why. Because I'm telling you guys about this shit that I haven't told you about with me being sad about this person. 
Yeah. 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 I don't think I. Th- I mean, obviously, keep your expectations low, but obviously, keep your expectations low. But that is up. advice I have to <laughs> write down because. Oh, Jesus Christ. But hold out. This is the most depressing thing. It's not depressing. It's not depressing because because even though we were just saying, like, I'm not okay with it because we're performing to this microphone, everybody's going to be like, ah, oh, they're comfortable. He's talking about the podcast. Yeah. He's comfortable. Yeah, yeah. So even though we're talking about this is, like, super meta for people listening right now. They're like, oh, my God. How Michael's... Is sad, but he's not sad, but he's doing it, so he can't be sad. I just pictured sad. myself listening. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right, Michael. <laughs> you say the words as you say yeah, them. As I say them. Mal- <laughs> I act it out, and I, then, I, then I pop into you, and I act you out. <laughs> Abhishek's the biggest fan of all of them. I am. Abhishek, okay, there's, there's a couple. There's, there's Abhishek, there's, um, there's, there's Mike Turner, and there's uh, Daniel Mitchell. Who are these? Daniel Mitchell and Mike Turner are friends from from Florida. God bless you. Yeah. No, that's why every video gets at least three views. Who are you? Who? <laughs> I've never heard of them. Hey, hey, they're they're good people. No, they I listen. Because they're listening to me close. speak right we, now. We've drifted and we don't talk very often because they got other things going on. But they, but they are listen. interested in they my listen. life, you know. Mm. And I would be interested in life, but I don't have podcasts. So they should. They can make podcasts. They make podcasts. I'd, I'd, listen, I'd, to I'd listen to their podcasts. <laughs> Abhishek might. <laughs> I honestly. <laughs> Where's my name? I, I just walk around sometimes and just listen to random podcasts just to hear what people feel. <laughs> Some dude in, in fucking Iowa. So it's like his problem is that Shucking like... Shucking corn today! And you're just like, oh, this might be interesting. <laughs> that actually might be. His daughter, like, he's dating a black man and he's like a racist. <laughs> <laughs> what am I to do? Freaking and then I'm just like, hmm, what can he do? And then I'm like, what wait a minute. What can I do like besides me. kill them all? And I'm like, oh, Jesus. All right, like, he friend. pulls me in for a second, and then I'm like, what can he do? Is that the solution? <laughs> oh, then I realize, oh, no, fuck that. No, <laughs> God. Got caught in the yeah, like, you, have to, you have to get pulled into the racism to feel it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can I tell you, uh, okay, so me and, so me and Lasha were, were, were talking today on the phone. That's why I was a little bit late, because I was talking to Lasha on the phone. I feel you. And I hadn't okay. talked to him for a little while. Yeah. And we were just whenever me and Lash talk, we always talk philosophy, and like that that was very pretentious that I said. That was extremely that was extremely pretentious. But we talk about we talk about the way we see things, and then like because he's very he, we we're on the same we're on the same medium for the way we get come to conclusions about things. We have different conclusions, but we're on the same medium for the way that we go about them. So talking is always fun and interesting. But um, he was saying about how like you know the fact that he wants to be an individual and like he's he's like gung-ho about individualism and, and pursuing art and stuff mm-hmm. and he's like but there's you know six billion eight billion people on the planet the fact that i am doing that and yet i know that the reason is so that the, that the rationally that's so dumb but i'm doing it anyway because i feel it and i'm normally a rational person and it's dumb that I'm, my whole life my whole life choice is based on a feeling rather than a rational thing where most of my life is based like everything else like, the one thing he's doing is based on the feeling, and then everything else is very rational. Mm. And I was like, um, but I want to know if this is if this is something that you've heard before. But he was talking about how there's a billion people, and, like, you know, it doesn't, it like, it doesn't, he has no chance. And I was like, well, I mean, you got to consider a lot of them don't have shoes. Yeah. You know? Well, you, and if you don't have shoes, like, you can't. You're not gonna be able yeah. to. Yeah, have you heard that before? It's, because it's not, it's not just, bit? like, is it the, the thing. As a bit, yeah, about being like, well, yeah, but like some of those people don't. If you don't have shoes, you can't do shit. They're on, the, they're on the water. I don't think I've heard that before. No. Yeah, that could be something. okay. Good. Because like the thing about that is like it, that assumes like that you're in direct competition with every single like one of the eight billion. People. Yeah. Like, and you, even if you're because you're not because like there are some people who like are farmers. There's some people who want to like be on the radio. Yeah. There's some people who want to fucking be porn stars or yeah. some shit. You know. What yeah. I'm saying? Wait, is that? And then and so people with so no you, shoes want to be all those things, but there won't be anything. They'll just yeah. be they'll be people with no shoes for the whole. Like, life. The, they, they might have shoes is, one day. But is Lasha saying that he he's it's not rational because there are so many people out there? Yeah. Who can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think for art it's different because for art it's who wants to listen to you, yeah. and you do not you don't have to compete with people for because art. Because it's like because because it, art is like. A but big the, part no, of, but the chances of being an individual voice people want to listen to is uh, still stri- just straight as, probabilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah if, but if it's just like choosing a person out of a hat, but it's but it's really about like what like the individual themselves, like the qualities. Like we listen to yeah. Bill Burr because we think he's funny and smart, 
right? Yeah. But like that, and that's chance, though. Yeah, that's chance. Is that, no, but is that's that not chance? competition. That's not competition. Competition is there are a certain number of doctors you can be, right? That that can exist. And you, you're competing with everybody no, else. No, he wasn't to be saying that. Yeah, he but like the insane. human capital of like he, the he fucking... wasn't talking about competition. He was just talking about the chance. I told you, he's a rational guy. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But but like that's like saying that every person is like the same. People, they, their differences that would make would give people advantages in the but competition. Overall, over overall, overall, we're all just dust. So it doesn't. Overall is not a good frame of reference to look at anything because that's it doesn't true. help. Any, it's just it's just depressing. We shouldn't do anything because yeah. nothing matters. That's that's not like that. that that's like that's fake smart. Because I thought of I thought of a couple of really good bits on the phone with Lasha too. Okay. Is um and then the other one I thought of because we were talking about nothing matters and everything, mm-hmm. and how you know nothing matters and I was saying but that's like a that's kind of it's kind that's of that's a relatively I think that's a relatively new idea. No nihilism, dude. That goes back a while. That, the thing that nothing matters. No, because we science proved we got to a point where science proved nothing matters. That where what? Because think about it. When we when back, you mean nothing matters. Back in back in back in Copernicus day, okay. Okay, Copernicus, yes. No, we don't matter. Not nothing matters. We don't matter. We always thought we mattered, and then science just recently we we okay we proved I, it. What, what did I, science I don't, mean? I, I don't. When did science? Pr- because what the fuck are first you talking of all, about, Copernicus. What about the fucking what? When we were the center <laughs> of the universe, we mattered. We mattered. No, you mean so you're saying because the sun is the center of the solar system, we don't matter? No, that was the first indicator that okay maybe we don't matter that much because we're in a solar system. But then we realized oh shit we're in a galaxy. We're not. Our sun isn't even the center sun. And then we realized we're in a fucking universe. And it doesn't matter. Okay, so you're just talking about astronomy. Astronomy proves that we... I'm doing the astronomy bit. (laughs) No, but I'm saying was that that was when we realized we don't matter in the grand scheme of things. That is the... What is the... No, that that works for a bit. But uh, when when Copernicus figured thought we were in the center, he just thought... It wasn't we matter or we don't matter. And he's choosing between the two. No, he was... He was like saying... I know that, that the was his theory, that yeah, because he, he was looking there's at There's no it. other way it could work. He was looking at... Fuck you, Al. I'm saying that when he had that idea, what? the fact that he, that they were the center of the universe is also something that would lead people to believe that they matter. If you're the center of the goddamn universe, and no. science shows that you're the center of the but goddamn he universe... Didn't say it. We are is not the I know Copernicus didn't say it. I know Copernicus didn't say it. People assumed it, not... So nobody learned, okay, we're in the center of the universe, and that's why we matter. They assumed that they were in the center of the universe because that's the only thing that but they knew. But now we they know, could just see things spinning but around. But now we know us. that we don't matter because we... No, 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 but it's not... It's, the scale it of the makes universe no difference. No... People have the same feelings about whether we mattered or not but back then than that, that they did that do, they have right now. Because back then, they just assumed space that everything... Space is not re- re- revolved around them. Just because there's more space and we're in a different area of... like the, like the the. We're in a different area on the grid. Doesn't mean that nothing matters. Is all right. So and then there's another one. There's another one. Um, right, can another? I can I just be on every OMM just like yelling at you? Okay. What's the other one? Let's discredit. The other that one as was well. um. The other one was was uh. It was very similar to the first one I did, but it was um. It was just a. Yeah. If someone was saying, well, I was saying like, humans are super smart, uh, and I was talking about how it annoys me. People are like, you know, dolphins are close. Dolphins don't have hands, you know? Even if they were, they can't do shit about it. They're just floating around in the... Yeah, they can't make tools. Well, although dolphins, well, they do make some tools out of, like, fish and shit. Like yeah. a river dolphin with, uh, like, a, like those pink river dolphins in Asia, they will uh, take a fish, bite off its head, and then use its body as a sex toy. So they so they have the mental capacity to be able to craft fucking sex, tools. Yeah, sex toys. But just I, can, I can... Just be, the, the example is vulgar, but it's no, also, they it's can, also no, kind so of hilarious. So they can fuck a toy... They can make sex. No, I could. I could. But then it's so long to make sex. I could read a. I could read a little manual and build a house. You know. Yeah. No. Human humans are smarter than dolphins. No, it's. I think if dolphins are smart too. If one species won, they're not close. They're not. Well, dolphins see themselves in the mirror. They can't. They don't have a voice. They don't have hands. They just they flop do, around. They, they do they have they a voice. They can communicate with no, each other. No, but they can't understand our voices. We can't understand well, their yeah, voices. Because they're people who are dumb. What? <laughs> Yo, we you don't understand. No, we understand their voices. Are you just their thinking their that voices. dolphins... So dolphins understand their voices? Yeah, of course dolphins don't work well in people world. Yeah, because they're not people. They're dolphins. We're talking about dolphins in dolphin land. Not we understand in America. their land. voices. We understand Boat their voices. Land. You can't do my bits before it comes out, okay? Sorry. So we understand that... We understand that... That... We understand their voices basically... 
if someone if some if some guy sat down and was like, I'm pretty sure someone has probably figured out what the each noises mean in dolphin language. Not every noise. We know like certain noises. We know most of them. We know probably. certain. No, we, know we don't know them. most of them. If this, someone sat down, this argument no, no. means nothing because none of us know. People, no, 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 none of us have any. None of us have researched no, this. No, because we have no, reason. We be able this, to put it in the files. Guys, 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 I know. I researched it because I know there's there are certain noises where they they've heard the noises. <laughs> They've heard certain dolphin noises, and they're like, "We have no idea what this means." No, because one guy was like, "This is gonna take a long time," but we could if we no, sat no, down. No. Think, dolphin think, researchers. There are people who research people dolphins who, for their constantly. Life, no, but we don't have all the best life. minds in America on the dolphin project right now. But if we did, no. Well, what? We, we do all have the best minds who want to care on, about no, dolphin but, minds are on dolphin minds. Yeah, but see, there's people that could be good dolphin scientists that choose to do other things. They're more important. <laughs> Michael, Michael, Michael. People do cancer. There are cancer scientists that would make a really good dolphin scientist, but it doesn't matter. Michael, if they got about, all, the, all their training the, is in medical. It's not about they're the, tra- They're not trained to be dolphin but scientists. But they have the brain it's not about the just that if they study dolphin science. Yeah, but do they have the interest? The interest is just import, as important as the brain. But the it's you, the research. You need it's the, the research. It's not too, the number of people you put on the job that makes it that much more important. No, because you have the no, because if you're if you're there all just tools? sitting, no, because it's not the it's not the research. If you're okay, so think about it. If we had all the best minds in America, and they <laughs> we, st- we, we 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 were able to do a study where all the new babies we could figure out how smart they're going to be in like IQ, and we took all those babies and we made them all study dolphin science. And then we just sat them in a room and we just played dolphin noises for like 10 hours. They'd walk out of there knowing exactly. I'm no, sure, we can't, well, you I'm can't, sure if you did the same thing with dolphins, if you put, took all the dolphins and they had, you had all of them research humans, they'd figure out what humans were saying Yeah, well. but no, they no, can't no, tell I, I, us I, I, about also, it and also, put also, it on yeah, TV also, also, and have some guy. They'll tell each other about it. They'll they tell can't all go the on, other yo, dolphins. Yo, yo, but they yo, can't yo, go yo, on YouTube and have some guy tell them about how, oh, you know that dolphins are just You can't just sit them in the room and play the sounds. You have to see what the what the sound would make the other person do. You have to see the communication and the response. You have to watch the dolphins communicate. But they have a Just the sounds. Because you don't see it, like, they could be sound like, "Hey, come over here." You don't see the dolphin coming over. Here. They, they can't associate a, with that. They have means. a mind beyond ours, Michael. That what the fuck is that? Like, you need so, you need something. You can't just wait. make shit up and then make if it. If you tr- had a guy that had a 180 IQ and made him study dolphin science, the IQ IQ just means you learn faster. Okay, that doesn't mean that like you're but you become a god pick, of dolphin you can speech. Pick it up. You can There's, pick it up. The research says they have no idea. No idea. The best minds in dolphin research have no idea what the sounds means. You're saying that the top people in dolphin research aren't the best yeah. people that could be doing dolphin research? That's exactly what I'm saying, yes. Are, that's what? fucking <laughs> retarded. <laughs> what do you mean? If that's they fucking had, retarded, If you dude. had people, take the person that discovered that... We just want... Oh, we just have, we just have, let's put Obama on it, and then maybe he can... No, 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 no. Let's put if Einstein you found, on If you what? found baby Obama and baby Einstein, oh, God. and you only raised them... With dolphin knowledge, yeah, but the thing is, you didn't teach them anything else but dolphin knowledge. Well, the thing, we're not, you're not, te- you're teach. They only know what you teach them. They know what. Maybe that's learn- why. No, but then they. That's but they why learn humans more. are smarter because they would never do something like this. They would make the where discovery. they would just put <laughs> every guy to figure out what the dolphins are saying. <laughs> Let's figure out what they want to say. Nobody would do that. Michael, what is your view of the world? <laughs> Michael, what is? This is why we're smarter because we don't have Michael ideas. <laughs> <laughs> we just have everyone in the room, and we play dolphin sounds. Every idea you have, Michael, sounds like it came out of a fucking dolphin's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Okay. Are... What the fuck? So they, the jokes have feet. Wait, um, what? <laughs> I, I no, that's not where... Uh, what, Wait, where? Uh, the three jokes I did have feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're sure, funny. Yeah. yeah, they're funny. Yeah. Okay, all right. They're not true, but they're funny. They're funny. It's comedy. It's comedy. See, how come every time I... You know what the weird thing is? Is that every time I talk to these guys and I come up with a bit, most of the time, every bit I do, I feel is true to a certain extent. There's no, truth. you might believe it. Like, Patrice, I disagree with most of what Patrice says, but I always, like, follow You know his, that he believes I it. I follow his thought. Yeah, I, I, I follow do his thought process Do you know, know that he believes it? See, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't everything believe Because everything that I do, I, I believe to a certain extent. No, but you you know you don't believe exact. You're you, you're pulling some things for comedic effect. No, know? I feel like if we got the best minds, <laughs> Michael, please. <laughs> Michael, don't please. Somebody listening to this don't will agree with me. Don't say that. I'm the only one, and I'm not. <laughs> Who are the other two guys? They don't believe. They don't agree with you either. Yeah, they... <laughs> this show, this show style, where me, Alma Prabhu, and Abhishek would work because 
I could just test out my bits, and you guys can make fun of me for each 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 of those bits. You made fun of me for a good fifteen minutes on. <laughs> so this would work. This would Michael. work. Maybe yeah. Oh God. <laughs> and then you just after after the show. No no. no we, you first you do the comedy show, and you record that, and then after you just have us shitting on every joke that you made. I don't even have to be here. Why don't you guys just do that? No, no, we have to be there for Wait, you to have, say stupid No, I have to look at you in the eyes. Stuff, I have to look you in the eyes. I don't eyes. say stupid. <laughs> what? Oh, you don't say stupid stuff? Just take all the minds. We take all the IQ, dolphins. and then we put them in the dolphin sound room, and they come out and they know all of dolphin language. They just know it, dude. I'm saying that, that they probably, that I wouldn't, I, if, I, if that happened, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be like, well, obviously, because they have high IQs. IQ is not the by all end all of, like, no, but they, it's a good indicator compared to... It is a good indicator. Yeah, but it, all it is is an indicator. It doesn't mean... So you get the ones that are indicated to be smarter than most dolphins. If you're a fucking dolphin scientist, you're probably not that smart. I'm just saying. No. What does that mean? Bro, if you choose to just study dolphins... No, you choose to. You, 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 you choose. See, Michael, that's not Michael, something There's no hierarchy of careers of every career on a single hierarchy where, like, dolphin scientist... That isn't... No... Because <laughs> there's no objective what they a career is better. chose to be a dolphin scientist. No, you're that's right, you're right. From... They know a lot about dolphins, that's true, and they're very smart in dolphin knowledge. But at the same time... Have you met a, a single marine a, biologist? What kind of a fucking idiot goes and only studies dolphins? Someone who wants... And nobody's only studying dolphins, by the way. There's no guy who's just studying dolphins. There's a marine, they're marine biologist. See, the, the, well, no any... wonder, because we don't have any dolphin specialists. No I'm wonder. Sure. I'm sure no they have, they have wonder. special I'm sure they had guys that just studied dolphins. What I'm saying is humans are smarter than dolphins. Yes. Yes, yes okay, okay. We agree with yeah, that. We, uh, yeah, That's we agree. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. You know, we, we agreed at some point, and then you started saying stupid you stuff, and then saying, we disagreed I'm, on the I same point. I wasn't saying anything stupid. It's still dumb if you're just a dolphin scientist. It's dumb objectively. Compared Why is to it? There, no, there is no such thing as dumb objectively. No, because... Except for you. You're fucking idiot. <laughs> Ooh. You're choosing. You're, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I just said, a joke. You're choosing. He said. You're choosing. I made him sad. No. You're choosing to do. Uh, you're choosing to study a a dolphin. That doesn't. Yeah. What, you're you're just saying the same thing over and over again, What's and it means with nothing. Studying Where dolphins. Is, think about the type of person that study that decides to study a dolphin, and the type yeah. of person that decides to study fucking cancer and shit. What? They have an interest in studying cancer, and these people have an interest in studying Okay, well, cancer. their interests are dumb, then. Why is their interest dumb? Because they're not doing anything that it helps people. They're just helping fucking dolphins. Look, we communicate so with dolphins, we get they, some fucking, like, you, you learn trade about, agreement or something. You learn shit. about life. I thought you just said that we can't communicate, because they're, I'm saying we can't. they're too smart for us. This is a separate point. This is a separate you idea. You want to learn how to communicate. Because dolphins are the too point. smart for us. The point is to it's learn It's not that they're too smart. It's not they're too smart. It's just they're different. They're different smart, okay? They're different smart. They don't have hands, okay? Yeah, because they're swimming. Okay. They're swimming. Fins. We don't have we don't fins. Have fins. <laughs> we can't breathe I can underwater. build a house. Can you breathe underwater? I can build a house. But can you build an underwater and dolphin house? A, and watch a fucking movie about a dolphin. Can, can you, you have a blowhole? Can, do you do have, you a, have blow a blowhole? Can you swim and, like, repel sharks away from divers? I could build a blowhole. I could build a dolphin costume and go swim with dolphins, and they wouldn't even fucking know I wasn't they a dolphin. Know. No, they, they, they are aware oh, of what a... Yes, they would know this. If I if we spend enough time... Do you know anything about dolphins? Why are we talking about Dolphins. What the fuck Dolphin. do you know about dolphins, Michael? Why are we talking? <laughs> Shut the fuck up about dolphins. I don't want to hear dolphins ever again. <laughs> Shut the fuck up about dolphins. God damn it, Michael. Wait. They're good bits. They're smart bits. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're funny bits. bits. I like them. It's a funny bit. No, they're funny. They're it's, funny. It's, I, actually, it's, I actually like them. It's a funny, it's a funny bit. Like you, you can develop them further. And yeah, it's, them. A, it's a funny bit, yeah. Make them better. Yeah, better. Make them better. Try them out some open mics. Did, did you do some working on it? You know, figure out the punches, the tags. So you haven't heard of them before? No, no. No, I haven't heard any. I, the, I just heard Joe, Joe Rogan did the complete opposite with the dolphins in his yeah, last. He said they're, yeah, he just said they were geniuses and triggered. Oh yeah, what do you say? How do you how do you say? Well, we we, we can we, let's not just talk about Joe Rogan special. Just, no, I just want to say like what was the premise? He oh, said was like, he said they were. He, well, he got really smarter. high and then he's like, they're so smart. They're so much smarter because we don't even understand their society at all. So they might be having. They might have just. Maybe they're doing their but own. But we do human understand thing. them. No, we don't. And we, we, we have. We no, have. We have some. We have a general understanding. We, we have dolphin them. scientists that. Yeah. No, actually, what if don't. They we don't have, have dolphin scientists. Apparently, what if they apparently. Have human we scientists. do have dolphin scientists, but they're also. They also. They're not only. They don't know only about dolphins. Like they have to be marine biologists, and then they specialize. Of course, I wasn't saying that. Y- yeah, yes, you were. You were. You were yeah, you no, said, I no, wasn't. you were. You said Michael, specifically Michael, dolphins. You, 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 
Can we not I talk was about saying this? hypothetically. Why are we still talking about <laughs> dolphins? <laughs> we, Why the fuck I said, are we still talking? I know. I know that the way it works is you got to know about marine biology before you just study dolphins. I'm just saying that <laughs> maybe we know more if they didn't waste all that time learning you about You need to understand about the ocean. And shit. You need to understand the ocean to understand a dolphin, okay? No, because you have a guy next to you that understands the ocean. Just like, oh, no, but shit? you need to know to build that. What the fuck? Because communal knowledge is better than just seeing Communal you. knowledge doesn't. Well, you, you need to you, know you things. You learn all the basics. There are certain stepping stones of knowledge. Like you need but to, think about time. You need to know how. We're about to get to a point where there's so much knowledge that we're not going to be able to learn it in one lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are we already there? That's true. We're, we're gonna, there. we're gonna, we're, we're about to get to a point Haven't where we've been there for no, years? no, so that there's no innovation in anything. I'm talking about specific. We're gonna get to a point one day where each specific topic, there's no further. Yeah, but the thing no. is, there's because you that, don't have no, but time the, the, like, I'm just saying that, the, but then there'll be new topics. Then no. there'll be new topics. But then. you can't no. learn all of it. The in people, it. people, you can go in different people directions. You already can't learn all, everything. And there's like, already specialization. It's just a certain specialization. Like you need to. Like th- there are certain s- building blocks, like learning like a language. Think about if you're building, learning how to put well, on pants. People's people's lifespans and pop- the population sizes are in- growing, so you'll have enough specialization and the time to to learn about them. Depending there'll on there'll the be other stuff. It's not like we're stopping at the amount of subjects. If you're building, now. if you're building a, a, a Lego tower, okay, but, and you uh, Michael, and you stop. have and you put every single brick, Michael, one please. on top of another, on top of another, on top of another. Mm-hmm. You took your brick allotment. You, so let's say you get ninety years, ninety bricks, and you put it all on one tower, okay? Yeah. The next person, okay, can't. Even get he'll just get to the point where the last person was at, and he won't have yeah, more. Yeah, but it's not okay. But it's not the next what? person, and it's not just one person. It's next five people because that's how much the no. But they won't have enough time in their lifetime to no, learn no. the base and they to look, learn and they live established longer. knowledge and they live longer. Okay, well that's they, the key. Yeah, that's they the live key. longer, and there's five more people. So you take one person, you get get that one person to learn more all of it. Right. Yeah. And also, they all live longer, so they have more time to develop. Once, it's, once something's it. already learned, it's easy to be like it's much easier to learn for. Like, it's course. not discovering it. Of course, it's but not. You have to discover everything at every course, time. You just I'm, have the givens. They course. just have the different givens, I'm just, and then they think about it. I'm just saying that it's. it's what are you saying? I'm saying Michael? that it's possible is, that we're gonna get to a point where we're gonna know as much as we can for our lives. Without being able to expand it, because every root is expanded. Are you talking about like a single person, like us right now? Have we've reached the? No, like, I'm saying like that our, human, our, our, that human, human, humanity. But there are there'll be new avenues of like knowledge. Like they'll, like we'll learn about like dark matter and shit. We'll learn about. No, um, but I think hypothetically, general, no, you're hypothetically, right. But hypothetically, will, we'll still will be keep. But like, that right. new understanding will lead to new fields that will have nothing, and then those will preserve. No, but there's and then those will lead on. Those will continue going on and building off of each other because like the. So we're not at the, we're not we're not at a point no, where I, we know everything about everything. We're okay. not even close to that. No, 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 I think we've already gone to that point. And that's when they started recording information and they started recording stuff in books and in, now even in, on the internet. After they start doing research and have it in a specific place, we don't need to know anything anymore. We don't need to learn anything anymore because they already have it there. You so, mean like discover knowledge? Yeah, we learn, don't need to discover, not learning in the no, sense. No, we of, don't even know, need to learn thing like we don't need to learn about dolphins, right? We, because we, they we, need, we, need to, we need to learn how to tie our shoes and use, operate yeah, yeah. a cell phone. We have common sense, obviously. We have common sense knowledge, right, that we cool. learn. But we don't need to learn everything. Back then, they had to learn everything. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to... They wouldn't have everything. Oh, you need to right? learn, like, like all of physics. Right, to, you have to learn all of physics. Now we don't need to learn all of physics because they ha- we don't, we're not the people who are in charge of learning all, uh, using I don't think, all of physics. I, I don't think that... Well, do you think that there's infinite things? Yeah. I, I think so, yeah. You think there's I mean, we're, we're, there's no... F- why there's no finite like I don't I don't I don't think basically we've reached every is the, subject is the that's universe there. finite. No, the, well we know that the universe well, is infinite. It's infinitely it's always expanding. So it's, of course it's infinite. So do you think we can get to the point? That's true. Well that's we don't true. we don't know we don't know we, and we, don't, we can we, only yeah, we don't and the stuff we don't know is like so much more than what what we do know that we can't even think to think that there's a yeah we finite. need a lot of like like we're not close to being done advancing intellectually we're not close at all i'm just saying hypothetically we could get to a point where well hypothetically like that like billions of years from now yeah maybe 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 we might get to a point where we know everything or we might get to a point sooner we or to innovate in certain fields let me say that what do you mean to innovate in a specific field to innovate you got to learn everything 
to be able to innovate on top of that because it's built knowledge. Yeah, yeah you got it. Yeah. So in cer- certain fields might hit the 90 year mark. Where no, but, it does, but, but the thing is, it's it's much quicker to learn something that's already. It's it's it, you know it, it it it's much faster to learn things that are already established. Yeah, but I'm saying. That so it like the pe- 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 people are, like they'll just be they'll get the broad strokes faster when they're. Taught. I was just saying that probably it already has already happened to one or two things. That's mathematicians and shit. To me, that's how I've always viewed math. Is that like you gotta know so much fucking math that like. And they only do math, and they're math geniuses, and they only do math, and they yeah, only we'll... innovate at, like, 50. Because it takes that long to learn everything. So I'm just saying, hypothetically, that math thing might get too much to the point where you die before you are able to learn all the math to innovate. I understand what you're Okay, saying. okay, I see what you're saying. But I, I think, that, I think that, there's, there's uh, especially there. specifically uh-huh. for math, now we're, 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 evolve, we're math. evolving on a, such a level where we even, we, we're creating robots. Robots are learning for us so we don't even need to learn it ourselves we just use the robots to innovate further especially specifically with math right we don't even need to learn the basic stuff of stuff about math if we want to innovate math because robots know it for us like the ai knows it for us and we can innovate from that i don't think any of us are smart enough to be having this conversation like we're, we're film students we don't well, know shit i know a little bit shut the fuck up Alex. i've I can say I'm not saying this stuff out of my ass. I'm hypothesizing. It's all, it's all you can do in he's, life. He's, he's a philosopher, dude. It's all you can do in life is you just you just look at the world and you just think. Practice. Why? You look at the world and just think. <laughs> Practice. Why? Why? There you go. And that's a start. So does that make me smart? No, but it it puts you on the track. To okay for greatness. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Keep that in mind. That's a great, great quote. What? Is, just why? It puts you on the. It puts you on the track. <laughs> for greatness, for greatness. Yes. Why? Uh, <laughs> I don't. Know. I'm just saying. Could could we could we sing the, ex- the outro? What's the outro? Your little road close. Little road close. Can we sing it out? Um. Uh, no. Yeah. Why would we do that? Why would we not just listen to it right now? Let's, let's listen to it right now. No, we can't listen to it because I edited it into it because I don't have it with me. But, um... Starky Park, stargazing, blazing down the trails, find a bear... Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Oh, man. Oh, I hope I don't rap this summer. I hope I don't rap. That's how I know I'll, 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 help, I'll help my low point. If mean? I start rapping again. Oh, rap, okay. If I, if I start rapping again. Uh, let's go film the shit. It's like 8. It's like almost 9. 9.15. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, we got to... We All right. Film things. Well, we, you know, you lose track of time when you're making fun of Mike for an hour and a half. When you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the shit up, dude. All right, that's the podcast. Open Michael Miller, uh, featuring Abhishek Singh. <laughs>